I get asked relatively regularly about training with illness, either training when you are ill or how soon you should come back if you have been ill. Now, I've just been away on holiday and two days into it I picked up a stinker of a cold and I'm still going through the recovery of it. So it does feel like right now is the best time for me to talk to you about it because I can tell you exactly what I've done. And first and foremost what I've done is I stopped. So on day two I got a little bit of a sore throat and I'm like oh hang on I'm about to come down with a cold. And so even though I picked the hotel we were staying at based on the fact I had a concept too I just thought nope I'm doing nothing I'm not going to run I'm not going to row I'm just going to let this cold run its course so I can get back to training as quick as possible because there's a good chance that the fact I picked up this cold is due to having a suppressed immune system so if I'm kind of under the the if I'm more likely to be picking up a cold because of that suppressed immune system then if I carry on training it's going to be just constantly suppressed okay and I'm not going to be able to recover as quick so if I was to carry on rowing or running and and just delay that recovery because I'm not letting my body deal with it then for the sake of just not waiting three or four days to get out the other end of this cold, I could cost myself like two, three weeks by driving it down into my chest and giving myself a secondary infection. Because although there is quite a pithy saying about if you're ill from the neck up, you can carry on training, but if you're ill from the neck down, you should stop. For me, if I'm ill anywhere, it's just a sign that I need to stop, my body needs to recover, and then once I'm okay, I can continue to train. So that's how I look at it. Uh, it might be slightly different if um, I was really facing into some kind of a competition in say like three or four weeks time, I might try and kind of get back a lot quicker than giving myself like a complete week and a half off. But even then, I'd kind of weigh up that thing of, well, if I train too soon, am I even gonna be able to compete? Would I be better to just kind of take it off and then hit the ground running once I know I'm better. So that's my approach to it. So then what happens uh, when I am clear? How soon do I then return to training? Well again this is going to depend on what kind of illness you've got. Okay so I've just got a head cold, a stinker of a cold, it's all in my face and I just feel grotty but that's around about it. I'm, my body's okay, I don't have that kind of aches and pains thing so I know that once I'm able to breathe properly again and I don't feel just so meh um, that I'll be able to get uh, back on the rowing machine. I'll start off with like a couple of lighter sessions. Maybe I'll do, instead of doing a 30 minute row at uh, 2K plus 18 at 20 strokes a minute, I'll maybe back down to like 2K plus 25 at, for 20 minutes just to try and just kind of get myself eased back into it. But then I'll, I'll know pretty quickly how soon um, I'll be able to kind of ramp up the intensity. And there's things like running as well. I'll kind of back off the running pace and maybe the duration. I'll just make sure that I ease and I'm always kind of uh, paying attention to how my body feels, how my recovery feels, um, do, do I feel a little bit delayed and I'm kind of like oh hang on I'm going a bit too fast, it's really important just to always kind of listen to your body but that's for a cold but then if I rewind back to January when I had Covid that's when it was really important that I really kind of baby steps and even then I think I took, uh, I came back a little bit too quick so I had uh, got Covid um, right at the very beginning of January, I then waited four weeks from my uh, initial positive test, which was then two weeks after my last uh, positive test. So I gave myself two full weeks after my um, last positive test to still let my body recover, knowing how hard COVID was uh, hitting me. I was exhausted all the time anyway, so I, I couldn't have wrote. But then when I did get back after that two weeks, I started off with a little five minute row. You'll see the playlist, the kind of the build me up playlist that I've got here on the YouTube channel. I did like a five minute row, did that for a couple of days, then a seven minute row, did that for a couple of days, then 10, 12, 15, 20. And I still think I maybe pushed it a little bit too uh, much, came back a little bit too soon. Although I was paying attention to my body, um, it still took me from what well, if I started rowing again around about February, it was like May before I was like, okay, I'm starting to get to the feeling that like I can start to push it harder now. I was able to kind of row long, low intensity workouts, but I couldn't put any real force into it because uh, I've come back, I think, just that time a little bit soon. So the important thing when it comes to COVID is to make sure that you've shifted it and that your body is starting to feel strong again before you row. Because what you don't want to do is come back too soon um, and you're recovering, you're recovering, recovering you push too hard and suddenly you fall off that like the, the cliff of energy and you can kind of trigger that long COVID thing where people come back way too soon. It's the same really if you've got like the flu or something or like a, or tonsillitis or uh, like a proper illness illness like a head cold is just annoying but um, when it's something that's given you a fever 
when you've had that aches and pains thing and you've had a spike temperature and things, uh, and especially if you've not been eating because that will then kind of, your body will need to recover by getting all the calories back in and get strong again from not eating, then you really need to think about what's going on and how soon you want to come back, okay? And you certainly, if you've got COVID or if you've got a fever or tonsillitis or something, you should not be training during that illness. I mean, I should probably have said that first, but hopefully just because I said I don't train with a cold, you've kind of, you already get that part. Um, but you would need to take your time when it comes to uh, how soon to recover because again, if you come back too soon, if just for the sake of thinking, oh, I don't want to wait another week, you could cost yourself months uh, of recovery. And it's it must be, although this is about illness, it's the same with injury. Is that um, I had intercostal strains like the kind of the rib cage muscles at one point uh, back in what 2016, and I didn't let them recover properly. Uh, and because they didn't recover properly, I was rowing, and then I triggered them again, and then I didn't let them recover properly and then I was rowing and I triggered them again and it wasn't until uh, I just thought okay I'm just gonna have to stop rowing and I took about three months away from rowing to let these muscles heal and then I was okay to then slowly build back into it and then now I can kind of sometimes I can feel that they start to twinge again so I then back off so just always pay attention to your body that's kind of what this comes down to is don't be uh, impatient about coming back don't listen to somebody else saying oh you're okay to come back after a week or whatever um because remember, when I know I'm giving you advice, but I'm giving you advice to not do anything. So I'm not a doctor, so um, uh, I figure that by saying don't do anything, I'm not putting you in danger. It's not like I'm saying to you, oh, you're okay to come back after 10 days. You're not, okay, in most cases. So um, listen to your body and uh, your default should be, I'm not going to do anything. And it's not until a point that you feel strong enough that you should then start again, okay? So a little bit of a ranty one today, I'm afraid. Uh, but I really wanted to get that across is the importance of, of just listening to your body and not overdoing it and letting your body deal with whatever bug is kicking around in your body and then once it's clear you can kind of build yourself up because your fitness will return and it might take for every week you've had off it might take two or three weeks for that fitness to return but you're much better to take that week to then recover than to push it too soon and then you've suddenly got to go back and take another couple of weeks off to deal with the secondary infection you've got okay right so i hope you en- <laughs> enjoyed and uh, i was gonna say enjoyed listening to this one probably not uh if you um i don't normally sound as nasally and annoying as this i normally just sound annoying so if you want to check out my other videos uh or podcasts then please do they're here on the channel for you to look around at either it's row along workouts or app reviews or whatever okay and please leave me some kind of comment to this let me know whether you agree with what i'm saying uh um hopefully you do um hopefully no one's gonna turn around and say oh you can always roll with a cold or covid you'll be fine because that's rubbish um so yeah so i will see you or i will speak to you in the next video or podcast until then take care be well bye-bye